$8,000. $8,000 a month was literally what they told me I needed to pay if I wanted to take care of my dad at home in the UAE. Hi, I'm Nasser, founder of Khair, and today we're going to be talking about transforming care at home for the elderly. 15 years ago, my dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and getting care at home is uh, not only really expensive, but quality is questionable, and for family, trust is always an issue, no matter what. And this is actually a growing problem globally, especially in the GCC. In six years, the UAE will have uh, one million people over 60 from just 200,000 today, and half of them will need long-term care like my dad. Now there's this wave coming, so either we wait, and crash or we get smart. So, using my 13 years of process consulting, I built a system that could allow anyone at home to take care of my dad. So, you know, he didn't come with the user manual, but we managed to build one. And that's actually what Khair does. Based on family and medical professional inputs, our app generates a tailored care plan using an AI model that caregivers could follow and also give insights into what's going on. So these dynamic care plans mean superior quality of care. The clear steps and reporting, this actually creates trust between families and caregivers. And we make leading nursing practices both easily accessible and affordable. We're building our better version and the build has been going well. Using no code, we've also been able to keep costs remarkably low and at the same time actually have quite strong documentation of our IP. Once we get the build right, we'll start layering in that AI model I was talking about to create a dynamic care plan. And hopefully everything will kind of like tie in. And the timing is actually right. The UAE's at-home care market was already struggling to meet demand. And recent legislation that is favorable to the longevity economy means we're going to see a massive growth uptick in the $380 million market that has about a CAGR of about 8%. We're proposing a very straightforward subscription model with various plans. And you'll notice that the premium plans have a lot more of the, uh, let's call it the human touch points. Our easiest go to market is actually through the nursing agencies as they already have that distribution and access to the nation's elderly population. Um, our proposition will lower their quality control costs in terms of the nurses. And on the flip side, it will actually improve customer retention through the reporting tools that are available to the families. We already have some traction and are signing up LOIs as we speak with a few regional agencies, and this will help improve again our product development. Once we have a strong base, that's when we're gonna start expanding geographically, first in country, then within the region. Then we intend to build partnerships with doctors, pharmacies, and the agencies. We also plan to offer these add-on services, such as caregiver trainings, and essentially, at the end of the day, we're going to go directly to consumer. That's the informal care market. Our competitive landscape actually covers hospitals, agencies, and informal care. Uh, we, we score quite well from reporting quality and mobility, and all of these are actually quite important to the elderly and their families. The team includes myself, who has first-hand experience and a strong ops background. I got Jude who brings in project management expertise and actually works in medical insurance. Mother is a doctor by trade. And Benny is our advisor. He's a recognized wellness expert and a global CEO. Our ask today from you is to secure access to more users and experts. This will help drive our product uh, development and help us transform the overall care journey. You can all have quality of life with kids and parents and don't have to go through what I went through. I wish I had more quality time, but wishing just doesn't make it so. I'm going to do it so you don't have to wish.